Hi, my name is Sen Poppy Gabe. I am a content creator that goes by Sen Poppy Gabe. Today, I will be playing Arjun, the Shifting Flame. Basically, I'm going to play a spell. I'm going to take all the cards in my hand, put them on the bottom of my deck, and draw that many cards. And so I'm basically trying to just touch every single of the 99 cards that I've spent money on so that nothing goes to waste. And ultimately, just do a bunch of card draw is kind of how this deck works. Uh, I mean, that makes a lot of sense. That's our that's our June. You just want to draw a bunch of cards, right? Mm hmm. I love yep. drawing cards. Dirty Can't is wait. it player. I hate you. Filthy is it player. I love you so much. All right. <laughs> <laughs> awesome. Okay, uh, on to the next guest. Hello, my name is Cyrus Dre, otherwise known as Lindsay. Uh, I picked a Latin combination of words for my handle because I'm a crazy person. It means squirrel mother or squirrel nest, depending on context, because I'm kind of a squirrel nerd. Um, you can find me in all of the places online under Cyrus Dre, should you feel compelled to look. And my big thing on the internet is basically yelling about lots of things that I think are cool and I care about, and more recently starting to work on trying to increase visibility and representation for disabled players in Magic and tabletop role-playing D&D style spaces, and figure out how we can spread awareness and accessibility aids for players so that everybody has a table they can play at. That is a, a wonderful a wonderful goal. Um, being able for everyone to just like have a place to play is kind of the dream, which is kind of what we're doing right here. So yeah, uh, thanks thanks for working towards that. Doing my best. <laughs> All right, and then over to Danny. Hello, my name is Danny. Um, I'm a TikToker. You, I, I'm on the internet sometimes. I make videos. I got merch coming out. Uh, I, I make silly videos online. And today I playing the Mimeoplasm, where I don't get to touch my cards until I kill them or put them in my graveyard. But I want to touch all these cool creatures that I usually never get to play, that I'm going to put in my bin, and then take out with the Mimeoplasm. So, nice. yeah. All right. Are you... I mean, you're probably kind of excited for some of the Fallout stuff uh, coming out, right? Being able to, like, I love Fallout. I love Fallout so much. Yeah. I, have, I have almost a thousand hours in Fallout 4. I got it on pre-release. I've played it so much. I love Fallout so much, bro. It's so much fun. All right, so you'll be playing. You'll be playing the Oh, Fallout for now, sure. Personally. Awesome, 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 awesome. All right. Which one so are you look, Or well, which one are you most excited for? Okay. See, I I, I love the Mothman one, but I play too much Sultai, so I'm definitely gonna grab. <laughs> um, I'm definitely gonna grab the Caesar's Legion, even though Caesar is kind of booty. But I'm getting it for Mr. House because Mr. House is oh, one okay. of the characters. <laughs> mm -hmm. Okay, you'll be rolling dice then, yeah? Yeah! yeah. The trick right. is you're not rolling D6s, you're rolling D20s with, like, Ooh. the ancient... The eight, you're rolling with the ancient dragons, that's what you do. Uh, yeah, that sounds about right. <laughs> that sounds about right. You just need to get a 6 or higher on a D20, that's the goal. Exactly! And statistically, I will. <laughs> Alright. Um, and then I'm Karatsuki, your host here, hello. Uh, I'm, you know, you can find me on Twitch. Uh, YouTube, where you are right now, TikTok, and all those other places, doing commander content. Uh, I'll be playing my uh, one and only Rule Zero commander deck, Aragorn, company leader, and Arwen Undamel. Uh, they are literally an OTP, so I'm gonna uh, just make them kiss. Mwah. Um, you can't separate them. You really can't. You really can't. Uh, so yeah, it's all about getting plus and plus encounters and ability counters and spreading them all around. Uh, and I'll be using these super cool uh, ability counters from Luxury Counters. Ooh. Um, yeah, they were at uh, MagicCon Chicago, and I saw them, and I'm just like, whoa, these are cool as uh, all hell. And uh, yeah, everyone's going to love them. So oh, yeah. I like, flip over to the other side to like, other abilities. It's like really, really neat. Um, but yeah, we'll see how many we can spread around. All right, uh, yeah, start this off. Uh, we'll do a jungle shrine tapped and pass. Alrighty. I will draw for turn. I'm going to play Shipwreck Marsh at just tapped and pass. Alright. I will play. Let's do a. Vine Glimmer Snarl, revealing a temple garden for my hand, and I will pass. Right. I'll draw. Uh, I will play an island, and then I will pass. I'm gonna tap for one and play a soul ring on the kitty side, cause we can. 
And then we will tap the soul ring and use one floating for a basilisk collar. I can equip it to target creature, and that creature has death touch and lifelink. Pass. Oh, no. That's pretty good. Wait, where's your that's land? Not, that's not scary. Oh. Oh, I took the death nail hand because oh. I wanted the kitty oh. soul ring. Oh. You know, uh, I, re the, the I respect the ring. I can respect that. Yeah. No, I respect, I respect that. that. I respect yeah. that. Yeah. All right. Yeah. I'm going to play Undercity Sewers when it enters the battlefield and enters tapped, and I also get to surveil one. I'm going to put Old Knobbone into my graveyard. Oh, Old oh, no. Knobbone. <laughs> oh, Paz. Uh, yeah, I don't like don't like that at all. Life um, could be a dream. It could be. It shouldn't. <laughs> um, let's do... What do, you, what do we got out? What colors? Do we have a green producer out here. Uh, I can do red, green, or white. Perfect. I'll play this exotic orchard. Thank you, thank you. I'm going to play Arwen Undamel. She's out, baby. Whenever I scry, I put a plus or plus encounter on target creature. That can pay six and scry two. I don't think I've ever activated that ability in my life. Pass. All right. I'll draw. Uh, I'm going to play another Islin. I'm going to tap two. I'm going to curate. going to be able to surveil two. I'll put Obstinate Familiar into my graveyard, put that on top, but I'll draw it, and then after that, I will pass turn. Okay. Untap. I need to put my library over here, because that's where I keep reaching. I'm going to go ahead and tap the Soul Ring for two, and then Jungle Shrine for one white. Use one of the floating for White Mane Lion. I'm not going to use it to return anything, because there's... Nothing else to return, but I just want to have a critter. And then I'll pass. Just a little dude. It's just a little guy. Untap. Draw. I am going to play Forest for turn. And what am I going to do with it? I am going to tap three, uh, both of these for blue. And I am going to play Phantom Ninja. Phantom Ninja cannot be blocked. And I'll pass. All right, uh, untap, okay, draw, we're gonna do, oh, uh, cool, um, let's do a, uh, full art surge foil Lord of the Rings planes, um, because yeah, let's make very these lands pretty. match, yeah, let me make these lands match, um, I think, strangely enough, I think we're gonna do Gladriel of Lothlorien. Um, whenever the ring tempts me, uh, if I choose a creature other than Gladriel as Lothlorien of the eh, as the ring bearer, I scry three. Whenever I scry, I reveal the top card in my library. If it's a land card, put into the battlefield tapped, and I will swing two at uh, Danny. I will block with Phantom Ninja. All right, it dies. I don't like that. Pass. <laughs> oh, uh, I th your Arwen also dies, oh. unfortunately. Yeah, sorry. Yeah. Yep, yep, yep. All right. I'll untap. I'll draw. Uh, I will play a Relinquy Tower. Then I'm going to tap two to play a Jace's Erasure. Uh, whenever I draw a card, I may have a t I may have target player put the top card of his or her library into their graveyard. Me, me, choose me, choose me. <laughs> no, I'm, I, I saw that old knob bone. I'm pretty, I'm, I'm pretty good. But after that, I'll pass. How about anyone but them, perhaps? <laughs> um... Untap. Upkeep, duh. Do two and a green this time. We'll play Feline Sovereign. Other cats I control get plus one plus one and have protection from dogs. Whenever one or more cats I control deals combat damage to a player, I can destroy up to one... Oh, not I can. I do destroy up to one target artifact or enchantment that player controls. Alright. Um, uh -oh. So we will put... It's gets, right? Yeah. Um, so I have a little, I have a little system for how I do my dice, um, for things. So if I have a card that has a counter on it, I use the literal counter dice. If it's a card that gets a buff from another card, but it's equal between power and toughness, I use mini D6s. 
And if it gets a buff to just power or just toughness, I use these little micro D6s and I put it <laughs> either on the power or the toughness side so that I know you... which half is getting a buff. Just okay. FYI. You're fair enough. Yeah. Okay, I think you lost connection. There we go. Okay. Cook it, bro. Cooking. Um. Oop. One away. What's happening? Oh, no. <laughs> Danny Doe. Out, Danny Doe. Help me. Help. <laughs> help. Father, help! Michael! Father, help. Michael! Go. Michael! Don't leave me here! <laughs> Michael! Michael! Jason! Jason! Alright. <laughs> we love our video games, folks. <laughs> um, and. Spell table won't load the power and toughness of the stuff. Um. Gabe, you don't have anything on board. That's an enchantment, right? Yes, that is an enchantment. Okay. If... And then. Keep it. No, don't get rid of it, please. <laughs> and then, Danny, your red card up here in the corner spell table thinks it is a planes, no matter what I do. This one? This is what my is that one again? Oh, okay. Not on board? Nope. I'll just slide it in here, just for reference. Okay, cool. Um... I know, I'm so sorry. <laughs> I'll do odds, Danny, evens, Gabe. <laughs> evens... And I'll go ahead and swing three at you, Gabe. All right, I will take three. Okay. Decisive action. It's good. And it says up to one target or artifact or enchantment, so I could pick zero, right? Yeah. If if you don't, I will not pick you to mill. Yeah, that's fair. All right. <laughs> you fought me. <laughs> so now there's only well two played. people to mill. <laughs> now, like, I don't know. I don't know how much graveyard stuff there is in here yet because I ain't never played it. So, <laughs> Pat. All right, I will draw for turn. Well, I mean, first, mill. Sorry. If you think about it, is just group hug. What? No. You're, you're just removing the bad <laughs> cards from the top of your deck until you get to the good ones. Explain yourself. <laughs> America, explain. All right, what do you I mean by that. <laughs> I am going to play another forest, and I'm just going to hold up mana and pass. All right. Uh, until I keep and draw, I will play a sun petal grove. I control. Oh no, I don't. Oh no, I control planes. Uh, let's go for a. Uh, Denry Killen, uh, editor in chief, um, a beautiful boy. When he comes into play, or sorry, when he enters the battlefield of our choice of plus one, plus one, first strike, or vigilance counters, I'm gonna say that he's gonna come into play with a vigil, uh, first strike counter. Um, and whenever a non token creature enters the battlefield in my control, um, any counters that Denry has, um, that creature will enter the battlefield with it as well. Denry's such a cool card. Denry is a pretty mm -hmm. cool cat. Do love the boy. Um, I will swing three at Danny for killing my commander. How dare he? Oh. Uh, and then I will pass. Alright. I will untap. I will draw. Curl, I'm gonna have you mill one. No! A land. I will then play an Island. Where's your red mana, dude? I, I, I'm i asking the same question right now. Clearly it's a mono blue death. I'm asking the same question, but um, I think I'm just going to have to start doing drastic stuff so at least I don't keep getting hit. Oh. Uh, I'm going to tap an island, and I'm going to play high tide. This so is, I'm so sorry. Uh, yeah, it is what it is. <laughs> but I'm then gonna tap five, um, two islands, one reliquary tower to play a psychosis crawler. Ooh. Yeah, that's worth that's, it. That's a silly card. That's a, it's silly, a silly card. card. Um, I have four cards in hand right now, so it is a four four. Um, then after that, I will pass. Okay. Untap a peep. Drop. We'll do a Scattered Groves. It enters the battlefield tapped. And then I'm going to go ahead 
tap the sole ring for two and equip the basilisk color onto feline sovereign and this time we will swing the white mane at danny for three for three ow and then i'll pass all right draw for turn cool I'm going to play Gyre Reach Sanitarium for land return. I am then going to tap two. Tap Gyre Reach uh, Sanitarium. We each get to draw a card, and then we each get to discard a card. Oh. Yes. And all of us? All of yeah. us. Yep. Draw. I'm going to discard a minor misstep. Okay. Discard the bag. I'm going to discard an Ancient Bronze Dragon. Oh, no. <laughs> I'm going to discard Kit Kanto Mayhem Diva. And uh, that's my turn. Pass. Uh, okay. On top. Upkeep. Draw. Boop. All right. Let's something a little interesting here. I'm going to play a Nesting Grounds. Um, and I'm going to cast my Aragorn, Company Leader. Um, when he enters the battlefield, he's going to get the first strike counter from Denry. And since Aragorn got a counter place on him, because he says whenever our, um, I put one or more counters on Aragorn, put one of up to each of those kinds of counters on another target creature, uh, I'm going to put that counter on to Galadriel. So the whole the whole squad over here is going to have uh, first strike counters, although <laughs> I can only have so many of those luxury tokens, so I will uh, start writing them down. Um, because eventually I just get a lot. Understandable. Mm -hmm. I may I may ask for a recap of that in a second. Sorry, I just got a work message that I have to oh, you're good. look at uh, and make sure nothing's exploding. Oh no, you're good. Just tell me whenever you're good to go. Uh, and then I will change the button. Change that mana up a little bit because I need to play uh, Growth Spiral. Uh, I'm just going to draw a card and then put an additional land for my hand to the battlefield. That's going to be this Temple Garden tapped, and I will pass after that. Alright. I will untap. Uh, when I draw, you guys will each take one. Oh. And Danny, you helped me out. Right now, uh, right now, so I'll have you mill one. Yay! I've milled Yargul and Multani! <laughs> Woo! I'm gonna play a mountain. Let's Gabe, go. You're, you're the best, Gabe. Oh my goodness. You gave me that. You gave me that red mana, so I'm happy. I'm, I'm gonna I'm, tap I'm, three. I'm, I'm gonna play a Magus of the Wheel. <laughs> yes, please, please. Um, that's all I can do right now. I'm just gonna pass turn. Gabe, we are great friends, aren't we? <laughs> I don't like this at all. <laughs> uh, yes, actually, yes. You know what? You have a lot of scary things in your graveyard. We are best of friends. We are best friends, aren't we? That's so cool. Oh, God. <laughs> He's going to be so big and be a gnawbone. Help. But ideally, <laughs> it's not coming at me. <laughs> because we're friends, right? <laughs> yes, because we're friends. <laughs> right. Right, right, right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's just the, the Padme meme. It's just like, because we're friends, right? It's because we're friends, right? <laughs> friends, right? <laughs> I'm going to tap Soul Ring for two generic. Scattered Groves for a white. And Jungle Shrine for a red. To cast Showdown of the Scalds. Uh, step one, exile the top four cards of your library. Until the end of your next turn, you may play those cards. I'll just use that giant deck. I need to fix this glare. I literally don't know how I'm getting glare. I'm sitting in a dark little corner. Um, 
Um, could you move it to Top the other four, side, right? maybe? Just of like your screen? Yeah, mm -hmm. move it to the other side of the playmat when you can. Four. Wee. And I will go ahead. It says until my end of my next turn. Cool. Love that for me. I will play a fortified village tapped out of those exiled cards. Gaming. Oh, just a heads up. We do get to see them because they are exiled. Oh. Yeah, they're exiled. Uh, Plains, Mountain, Mountain. <laughs> well, well, okay, well, all right. Cool, thank you for that. Uh, <laughs> what secrets are you hiding yeah, under yeah, that yeah, exile yeah, pile? Absolutely none. <laughs> <laughs> what secrets do you keep, foul beast? <laughs> oh, dude. Um, and well, then... you got your lands now, so. <laughs> well, yes, yeah. I, no complaints. Uh, da -da 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 reading stuff, reading stuff, reading stuff. And I'll go ahead and pass. All right. I will untap. Upkeep. Nothing. Draw. What's this message? All right. Gamers. Mm -hmm. I'm going to play as Island. Gamers. Gamers. <laughs> Derogatory. <laughs> <laughs> I am going to tap five. And I'm going to play my commander. Mm -hmm. Mimeoplasm. When it enters the battlefield. It's going to trigger exiling two cards from my library. Before we do this, are there any responses? Try, I got nothing. Maybe. Nothing? No. Mm -hmm. I'm so glad no one can bog me. This is amazing. <laughs> All right. I'm going to get Yargle and Multani and Ancient Brass Dragon. Yep. Yep, 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 yep. Giving it 18 plus one plus one counters <laughs> and giving it a flying and whenever. This creature deals combat damage to a player. Roll a d20. When you do, put any number of target creature cards with total vandal value X or less from graveyards onto the battlefield under your control, where X is the result. I'll pass. Yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. We're friends, right? We're friends. We're so right, yeah. friends. Just We're keep so milling friends. me. Just keep milling me. <laughs> uh, keep don't doing that, perhaps. Um. All right. Cool. Unfortunately, none of these are reach counters, so that's cringe. Um, I'm gonna play. I'm gonna play Frodo Baggins. Frodo Baggins. Frodo Baggins. Uh, when Frodo Baggins or another legendary creature enters the battlefield under my control, the ring tempts me. As long as Frodo is the ring bearer, you must block the table. Custom Lord of the Rings, the Ring Tempts You tokens that I Ooh. gave away. Yeah, That's so it's cool. Kind of, Those it's are nice. Sick as hell. Yeah. This was uh, given out during a Representation Matters event that I did, um, that, I, that I hosted. This it was like the coolest art ever. <laughs> it's actually like really Amazing. fucking good. Holy yeah. Really awesome. It's like actually pretty baller. I'm um, so jealous, dude. That's Yeah. Sick. I gotta do another one of these. Um, but yes, yeah, so Father Baggins will be the Ring Bearer. Big shocker there. Um, and because, oh, um, that's fine. Well, yeah, that's fine. That's better than nothing. Um, Frodo, gotta be locked. Um, because someone else was the ring bearer, I'm going to give Aragorn Death Touch. This will be Death Touch. Um, and then when Aragorn gets Death Touch, I'm going to give it to Denry as well. Death Touch and Strike is what Denry has. Um, and then Gladriel, whenever, I, whenever someone else is the Ring Bearer, I'm going to Scry 3. So that's not good. We're going to put those to the bottom and that one to the top. Um, and 
then we're going to... God, how do I not maybe die, perhaps? Um... I don't know. I don't truly know. Um, we're going to... You know, we're going to go down fighting. We're going to bring in Arwen in the mail. Uh, that's another legendary creature entering the battlefield. The ring will tempt me. I'll go level 2 with it. Uh, which is on attack and draw and discard. Uh, she's going to enter with a first strike counter. The, 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 the two are going to get the bling counters, of course. Uh, first strike and death touch from Denry. Yeah, we're getting there. First strike and death touch. Um, Frodo's the ring bearer. Scry three. Uh, I'll put that up there. I'll put that there. And then the top card is Path of Ancestry. That'll come to play tapped with uh, Gladriel. And because I scryed, I'm going to put a plus one plus encounter on Aragorn, who will, of course, put a plus one plus encounter on his lady wife, the way God intended. Uh, for them to be together, of course. Uh, and then that... <laughs> um, I'm going to swing a 2-2 two -two first strike death touch over at Danny as a small token of... Uh, not going out without a fight. <laughs> you know what? I'll I'll take I'll take the two. All right. <laughs> oh. Uh, I will then pass the turn. All right. I will untap. As I draw, you guys will each lose one. You got it. I'll have Danny mill one more. Yippee! <laughs> it is an underground river. Make it stop. Uh, I'm gonna play an Island, and then I'm gonna tap six. I'm going to bring out my commander, Arjun. It is a 5-5 five, five with flyer, and whenever I cast a spell, I put the cards in your hand on the bottom of your library in any order, and then draw that many cards. After that, I will just pass. Okay. Untap. Now keep draw. And we will go ahead and play one of these here mountains as land for turn. Leave them over there. Go ahead and tap Soul Ring for two, and then we will do a green, a red, and a white, and bring out Rin and Sari. Inseparable. Uh, whenever you cast a dog spell, create a 1 1 green cat token. Whenever you cast a cat spell, create a 1 1 dog token. Um, and I can pay a red, a green, and a white, and Ren and Sari inseparable deals damage to any target equal to the number of dogs I control, and I gain life equal to the number of cats I control. Is that a signed copy? Yes. Oh, I had Andrea yeah. Raddick sign it at Magicon. That's very nice. nice. She signed it, and she signed my play map for me. Oh, yeah. That's it. <laughs> Mimeoplasm friggin' big right now. A big boy. You do have a death toucher though. I do. I do. Uh you don't have a flying death toucher. Nope. Okay. <laughs> don't let that be some sort of excuse. Oh no, I, I would say sw swing at me. I won't block, I promise. Ah, uh, yes, 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 yes. <laughs> oh, uh, and I am now on the second step of my showdown of the scalds. Whenever I cast a spell this turn, put a 1-1 one, one counter on target creature I control. So I will go ahead and pop that 1-1 one, one counter onto, um, you Ren and Sari. That seems safe. And also she's getting one from Feline Sovereign. So Ren and Sari is currently a 6-6. Six, six. And... I died? Oh, you're back now. You're back. Okay, we come back. I think I'm gonna let it ride for one more turn so I can catch it's, up on what's it's actually Iowa going Wi-Fi, on the guys. Rest of the board. It's what Wi-Fi? It's Iowa Wi-Fi. Oh no. Oh, dude. The worst Wi-Fi. And then these guys go Powered to actual cord. exile now, right? <laughs> yes. Yeah. Yeah, did you, you play the land from it, right? Yeah. Okay, awesome. Alright, and that's your turn now? I'm so sorry. I yes. Sure. Awesome. What's up? I will. Jura. Yeah, dude, it would make us even better friends. What would make us even better friends? 
if you wield. Mm. I can't wheel right now. I have no mana, yeah. but I... You have Magus of the Wheel. I do. Well, I do have Magus of the Wheel, and I'm planning on wheeling next turn. Oh, you're I just don't have the mana right now. I you're don't such have a, a good friend, right Gabe. Right oh now to God. wheel. Such a good friend. I'm going to play Darkwater Catacombs. Just remember yeah, how good of friends we are when you go to attack. I definitely will. I, I will I will remember this. He's going to remember too hard, actually. Make it stop. <laughs> <laughs> okay. I am... Okay. You know what? Let's let's, let's be silly. Let's be silly and goofy a little bit. But tap this for a black. Uh, tap this island to tap my dark water catacombs for a blue and a black, as well as a forest for four mana total. And I am going to play Massacre Girl, known killer. Ah. No, no, no. She has um, been known to kill from time to time. She has been known to kill. Menace, creatures you control have wither. Uh, whenever a creature an opponent controls dies, if it has toughness less than one, draw a card. Yeah. Oh, then. Kuro's technically winning the game right now, so um, I'll swing at Kuro. For... The biggest technical. <laughs> <laughs> technically. The you have the most, like, I two life. He guys, is winning the game. Winning. He's winning, guys. We gotta yeah. get him. Yeah. He's Somebody's clearly the threat down. right now. <laughs> yeah. All right. So how, how much commander damage uh, is this? 18. Yeah. <laughs> clearly winning. But now you're not By winning, end. so you're fine. <laughs> Um, when I uh, deal combat damage, I will. Here we go. Uh huh. D twenty. That is an eleven. I may then uh -huh. grab any creature with mana value less than eleven from any graveyard and put it onto the battlefield under my control. Mm, I, I got nothing. Am only gonna go get old Ganabone. Old Ganabones. Um, old Ganabone. The old bone gnaw. The old bone gnaw. <laughs> I'm then going to tap two. Tap Gaia Reach Sanitarium. We each get a draw a card and then discard a card. So uh, when I draw a card, you guys will each lose a life. <gasps> and, and then, then we get a Annie, mill. Someone... You get to mill. Oh, life could be a dream. I mill wood elves. Yay. I mill the plains. <laughs> I'm gonna mill a blue elemental blast. I am then going to discard to my graveyard Sepulchral cool Primordial. What? Why would you discard the blue elemental blast? There's so many cards to counter on this in this game. <laughs> Only one of you guys is playing red. <laughs> what do you mean? It's so good. <laughs> All right. Anything I'm else? Somebody else built. I don't know what's in it. <laughs> I um uh, I'm so sorry. Um, have you uh, have you milled yet, Syracuse, or no? Yeah. I mean, not mill, discarded. Okay, cool. Uh, then we're, if we're all done with that, I will pass. Okay. Um. Uh, untap, upkeep, draw. Okay. For five, I'm going to cast um, Scavenged Brawler. Ooh, he's uh, quite the card. He is a six mana four for artifact creature construct with flying, vigilance, life, uh, trample, and lifelink. And I can pay five to exile him from their graveyard, uh, choose target creature, put four plus and plus encounters on them, and then all of those abilities um, as counters on that creature activate only as a sorcery. Is this from so. Brother of War? Uh, yes. It was one of the pre-cons. Brothers War oh, Commander, like, cycle card. Okay, team. I didn't recognize it at first. This is cool. I like yeah, this card. Bro Brothers War was a very, like, interesting departure from just, like, general magic, like, yeah. theme and story. And then, like, all of a sudden, here's, like, these straight-up war bots. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I, per I personally really liked it. I liked yeah, it a lot. No, Brothers I, War was I, great. Yeah, I think it was really cool. It was just, mm -hmm. just a very weird flash in the pan, especially because we were, like, entering the march of the machines so it was just like yeah. oh god like what are we gonna do the fractions are here oh my god and it's just like by the way i don't know if you heard this old story before but like <laughs> yeah some like the thing that started it all 
Right. I, I have problems with like the like the Dominaria United Phyrexia lock, technically. Mm, technically I don't know, man. Technically lock, yeah. Yeah, listen, me out here. Um, okay, I am then going, and he's going to enter with a first strike counter on him. One thing that he doesn't normally have. Uh, and... First strike. And I will then... I didn't scry. I'm going to swing with a uh, Frodo bag ends. I'm gonna swing one at Danny. That'll show him. I have skull. Ow. I'm gonna draw discard. I will discard just a little this poke. island. Just a little poke. Just a little, just a little stabby stab. Yeah, a little little, little stab, Sabarino. I'm getting I'm getting a thousand cuts very slowly. Mm-hmm. <laughs> <laughs> No, after it's... you just shot him with a cannon, the small little slap you received. I threw yeah. a brick at Kuro and he responded with a needle. I did. I really should have swung for more. I don't know why I'm not. Um, I will then... You could swing for more. I should swing for more. Yeah, go swing for more, dude. I don't care. Uh, just in general. Because, like, I mean, these creatures aren't going to do much if I don't do anything. Uh, let me... So... Uh... Let's do Aragorn and Arwen together are going gotcha. to swing at Gabe. And then uh, Denry is going to swing uh, nowhere, actually. There's no other. Like, oh, no, oh. I have Death Touch. Oh, that's fine. Uh, it'll be another two at you, Danny. Cool. So three Which... total at me? Uh, yeah, three total at you. Which one is bigger? They're both first strike Death Touch. Uh, technically, Aragorn is bigger by one power. Uh, they're both, so it'll be five total? Uh, yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah I'll take five. Uh, three, four, five, six, seven. Seven total. Seven? I'll take seven. Okay. Uh, four of it is from Aragorn, three of it yep. is from Arwen. I will then pass the turn there. Alright. I will untap. I will draw. You each will lose one. Danny, you will mill one. Oh, you're the best, Gabe. I'm able to search the Count's castle. Which is a... Which is what? Um, it's actually... It's just a reskinned um, Thirst for Discovery from... Okay, um, okay. Yeah, from... Uh, okay. What's that? Innistrad? Yeah. Uh, Crimson Vow, so... Crimson it's Vow like, special... It's like one of, like, the like the Count Dracula, like, you know, cards. Mm -hmm. I really want I'm gonna card. tap... Red and... My Reliquary Tower to tap and sack Maggots of the Wheel. Uh, everyone's gonna discard their hand and then draw seven cards. Wheel. Oh. All right. Oh, so no. when that happens, my psychosis crawler will also die. Sadly. What? Oh what? yeah, because your hand gets. Because no, 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 no. The state based actions aren't tr checked between. Oh, it's does not. Like, what does Magus say? Like, it does it's like. So its power and toughness are equal to the number of cards in my hand. Right, but read the card fully. Psychosis crawlers. Magus. Oh. Um, each player discards their hand, then draws seven cards. Right, so, um, if it was pay one red, uh, discard your hand, and then tap, right, like, paying the cost to put the ability on the stack, then what you're saying is, like, kind of what would happen, because, like, the ability goes on the stack, oh, okay. like, there's, there's room to check for state-based actions, but while you're resolving a spell, state-based actions aren't checked, right? So, okay. like, you could, like, while you're doing Arjun, Right, like there's that moment in time where you don't have cards in your hand before you draw. Yeah, them. that's in the middle of the ability. Psychosis Trawler can't be checked to be killed in that time. Uh, awesome, that's so cool. Yeah, yeah no, that's great. Uh, so then Psychosis Crawler won't die, uh, right. and then you guys will each take seven as I draw these seven. Right, so that is going to be awful. Um, before that happens, oh. I am going to path uh, the Mimeoplasm because he scares me and I'm close to dying. Okay, um, in response then. Yeah, this is with getting... your original hand. Everyone yeah. still has like the original hand. Yeah. yeah. Yep. I'm going to exile Cyclonic Rift from my hand to play Force of Negation to counter that. That is um, very In cool. response. Ooh. <laughs> Gabe, Gabe, we're friends. Gabe, we're friends. We are friends, but your Gabe, thing is friends. scary. Gabe, uh -huh. we're friends. Gabe, we're friends. <laughs> do it, Gabe, do it! 
Okay, I'm we're gonna friends. Tap three. Okay. Go. Go. I'm gonna uh, Itali score in that. Oh. That's so funny. Who scored? Oh, uh, 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 air, 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 air ties. Oh, air ties. Okay, okay, okay. I'm like, yeah. Itali's the red dragon dinosaur. I'm like, why is he scoring? Okay, cool. Uh, neat. Uh, path, path that commander. Get him out of here. How much? So how much life do I gain? Uh, you're in a land, baby. Oh, I get a land. Gotcha. I'm, it's not swords. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, and then I'm also right. going to... Uh, I'm going to cast Slip on the Ring. Um, which, honestly, I'm just going to flicker... Um, I think I just flicker Galadriel. So. Oh, Gabe. no. Sorry, Kuro. Keep going. No, you're good. He already has Death Touch. That's right. Um... I'm gonna just flicker Galadriel. I'll flicker Frodo, whatever, it doesn't make any difference. Um, so slip on the ring is just exile target creature I own, then return to the battlefield under its uh, under my control, the ring tempts me. So that's just gonna be two ring temps with um, Frodo Got there. Um, so with those ring temps, I will in exchange, Danny, with the seven cards that I draw, I'll mill you for five. My friendship with Gabe is officially over. <laughs> <laughs> Syracuse's cat is my best friend now. <laughs> um, actually, I think I can just make. If that's the case, then. Oh, that's how you really feel. Um, okay. I'm making Frodo the ring bearer. That's fine. Um. I'm gonna scry three, and then put that to the top. I scry, the land's gonna come to play tapped. I'm gonna scry three again. Curl's going crazy the in, in, in the intermission. Yeah, it's kind of hot. Um, and then uh, I'll do other things, but yeah, we're I discarded cards. How many cards have we drawn? Seven. All right. I am discarding a Vornclex Monstrous Raider, a Sakashima of a Thousand Faces, and a Swap. I am discarding a Ominous Seas, Time Stretch, and a Glorious Gale. Uh, Masked Vandal, White Sun Zenith, Kozali Slingers, Sky Hunter Strike Force, A Plains, and Dusk Dawn. Got it. Okay, cool. Him and, him and his wife are stacked, blinged out. Oof. <laughs> Look at the drip. So it's much so happened. <laughs> look at the fabric. Look at the textures. Look at the drip. <laughs> Ooh. His clothes. Me, whack. His shoes. <laughs> whack. Whack. Me. I'm tight as fuck. <laughs> All right. Is everything good after we draw our seven? Yeah. Yep. Um, if my friendship with Danny is over, then I still have to mill someone's set. Oh, I can mill seven, like in total. So. I'll just split it four to Kuro, and then Drew, I'll have you mill three. Incubation Drew is Sky Boon, Evangelist Boon of Safety, and Unnatural Restoration. And, and then, then me, you said? Yes. Fabian, Boss's Confidant, A Crows and Verge, and Set's Tiger. Okay. Uh, I'm gonna play a Command Tower as my land for turn. And then I will pass. Right. And the like a forest. I'm a land for turn. I'm gonna put my two basics over here so that I can actually see what's going on. You were real cute until I had to do stuff, and now you're a little in the way. Like just a little. Kuro, who's the uh, who's the biggest one you've got on board right now? How big is your biggest? Uh, my biggest is a six. Okay. It's just a six six guy. It's a, uh, he's very blockable. Also, I think if you equip the Basculus Caller to Ren and Siri, you can use Correct. its like a ping ability and just kill anything because it'll have Death Touch. Correct. 
That's how that works. <laughs> yeah, and any so Ren and Siri as... deals the direct damage, right? Right. Yeah. As long as Ren and Siri yeah. is the one. And then you'd also yeah. gain the life back because it would also have life. So that's life like. Gross. Yeah, deals damage to any target equals the number of cats and dogs. And then you gain life equals the number of cats. Uh, on top. Of I don't know why I thought that was combat damage that it had nope. to that it had to do. Okay. Nope. All damage. Don't love that. What do you mean? What do you mean? <laughs> what do you mean? It's, it's on your it's on your board. <laughs> it's no, I, I know, but it feels icky. Oh, it feels well, I, rude. Welcome to Magic the Gathering. Yeah, sorry. Yeah. It's not like I had an 1818. Yeah, Danny My plays ball. commander. <laughs> In 1818, flying plus of plus encounters. Fly, flying, fucking yeah. dread return. Flying yeah. cheat out, uh, gnawbone. Yes. Yeah, you're right. Yeah, it's I not like Kuro's building have death gnawbone. touch on everything. Yeah, it's not like Kuro is. As a treat. As a treat. All, every every one of Kuro's creatures has a dirty needle. Okay, and it's, it's so scary. Cool. <laughs> it's so cool. <laughs> Here's a dirty all. needle for you. He's just here Here's to support his wife with the bling. You. Oh, also, you're faster than everyone else now, too. What do you mean? First strike. I'm silly. I'm stupid. Nah, it's fine. Don't worry about it. I'm sorry. I'm nah, sorry. Don't worry about it. It's just, it's just the bling. I've always wanted to do a first striking death touch, like, Glissa deck, but I've never really enjoyed, like, the Glissa strategies. Yeah, she's a very specific type of, Oh, like, the one? Bulgari. Like, the yeah. perfected one? I just no. I and because any Other of the glisses person, now because yeah. all the glisses have it now and mm, I just I don't sure. like any of them but I love first striking death touch because it's so silly. I mean the new there's yeah, one that gives. Uh, sorry, I didn't mean to cut you off there. No, you're good. I mean it's just like all yeah all of them but the last one pretty much have like first strike death touch and it's like weird. There's one that gives all Phyrexian do you control first strike uh, as you go to combat first strike and death touch. I think that's the incubates. newest one, right? That's the newest yeah. One, yeah, because you incubate two on combat or yeah. you mm -hmm. give all your. Phyrexian's first strike death touch. Yeah. I thought about building like a uh, Golgari like Phyrexian with that commander. Honestly, like, you. I would suggest rule zeroing her and Grimaz together so you could just go like full incubate title. Mm -hmm. And just. Just complete the Phyrexian invasion of the multiverse with all the incubates <laughs> you do. Mm -hmm. Maybe I will build that Glissa deck. I just run so much like black green. Those are like my two color combos I dip into most with everything else. Disgusting. Oh. I love Golgari. It's a great color combo. As Same. an Izzet player, that is disgusting. As a Golgari player, you disgust me. <laughs> As an Azorius Izzet player, you're all cool. Oh. <laughs> Azorius Izzet? I'm yeah. sorry. You play the cops and the nerds? <laughs> Who better than the cops? <laughs> wow. wow. <laughs> yeah, we may have to do a lot of math here, but at least at least we don't have taxes. Excuse me, me and my dirty mud friends love it down here, okay? <laughs> what are you doing over there? Um, starting with two and a green to cast Realm Walker. It's every creature type. And as it enters the battlefield, I choose a creature type, so I'm going to choose cats because I think there's more of those in here. Mm -hmm. um, may look at the top card of my library at any time. I may cast creature spells of the chosen type from the top of my library. Um, whenever I cast a dog spell, create a 1-1 one, one green cat creature token. And whenever I cast a cat spell, create a 1-1 one, one white dog creature token. So... It's like it's raining. Raining cats and dogs. And changelings, oh my. Cats that See, are it's also so funny because they say a 1-1 one, one green cat, but then all of the cats that are 1-1s one, are whites. Mostly or the they have life link. Are... I think oh, the, yeah, fancy, right. the fancy art one is the 1-1 one, one cat. Is it not? I think it's a green one, a white one, though, right? There she is, yeah, you're right. And there's a couple of different like uh, cat tokens. They, they've been yeah, yeah. white and green. So there's it's that one, nice. and then oh, we'll yeah. do the dog token. Oh! Look at dog him. is so cute, just like holding the sword in its mouth. It's the cutest thing. He's so helpful. Just a little guy. Just Cat a little guy. Cat gets one one. There's the top. Okay. 
I cast a spell this turn, so I'll put a 1-1 counter on target creature I control, and then this will go away at the end of the turn. Give me the counter. Go ahead and put that one on Realm Walker. And then we will use another two to move the Basilisk Caller over to Rin and Sari and feel like a villain the whole time we're doing well, it. You know, I mean, you know. That has summon sickness, that has summon sickness, that has summon sickness. Those two are still up. And then I'm gonna go ahead and play my land for turn. Which is gonna be a uh, Jetmere's Garden. It will enter the battlefield tapped. And I am one short to do the bad thing this turn. Yippee! Yippee! <laughs> I think I'm gonna pass. Alrighty. I will skin. Mm -hmm. On tap. No upkeep. I will drop. Beans on toast. I am then going to play Boris for turn. Um, and I'm going to move the combat, and because Gabe is technically winning, I'm going to swing all my bone at him. It is a flying 7 7. It also has Wither. I will take seven. Cool. When that hits, I'm going to create seven treasure tokens. Mm -hmm. Represented by this right here. Seven. I am then going to immediately sacrifice all of them and tap an island to play Terastodon. Oh, shit. When Terastodon right. enters the battlefield, you may destroy up to three target non-creature permanents. For each permanent put in the graveyard this way, its controller creates a 3-3 three, three green elephant creature token. I'm going to start with destroying the Basilisk Caller. Oh, what? No, Back. that's so weird. Why would you do that? <laughs> Did you... Uh, you can't that? use it. Uh, just Well, choose your targets first before it all... Yeah. It's just in case yeah. Um, and uh, Gabe will choose your enchantment. The Jace's Erasure? Yes. Okay. That's and the those are my targets. You each get a 3 3 elephant. Uh, do you. You could target three things, right? Okay. Yeah, but they're only non creature stuff, and everyone. Oh, needs okay. So. Yeah. Yeah. Um, uh, right. Did anyone have a response? Like, did you. Did did you want to use Ren and Siri if you can? Do you want to draw a card? I don't have the mana game? to trigger it before okay, it goes. Gotcha, 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 I'm, gotcha. I'm good with this. Uh, I don't have an elephant, but I do have a 3 3 Totoro. Speaks there you the go. Wor works for me. All right, I. All right. While I'm in second main, I'm gonna continue doing shenanigans. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. I mean, I could get my commander out again. That'd be silly. But instead, I'm gonna be silly again. I'm gonna tap three, four, or five, six, and I'm going to play Gyruda Doom of Depth. When Gyruda enters the battlefield, each player puts the top four cards of their library into the graveyard. Put a creature card with even converted mana cost from among those cards onto the battlefield under your control. So we will each mill four. If you mill a creature with even converted mana cost, please let me know. Two, one, three, two. You got three. four mountains. I also got nothing. Enchantment, mountain, you said four greater? Uh, even converted mana cost. Oh, even. Okay. Uh, Alms Collector. Yeah. Uh, if an opponent would draw two or more cards, instead, you and that player each draw a card. That's... Oh, my God. That would shut down Gabe. That's so funny. No, we, we would still draw cards. Like, I would uh, still draw my cards, but Danny would also draw the cards as I draw cards. No, so yeah. instead of drawing... Se like, say, with Arjun, instead of drawing seven, you just both draw one. If an opponent would draw yeah. two or more cards and said you and that. Oh, okay, okay. Yeah, that's like kind of funny though. Yeah. Uh, you know what? I'll take Alms Collector. I'll take Alms yeah. Collector. Uh, I got uh, Opt, which I want to change into uh, OTP because it, it is, it is that. 
uh, Sky Ship Plunder, Norn's Channel Master, or Choir Master, and uh, Temple of Enlightenment. None of those are worth the time. Yep, I will take Alms Collector. Hey. I. Oops! Elephant, oh my god! That is a beautiful elephant, holy crap. I can't draw, nor do I have infinite tokens, so this um, this mana drain will be my alms collector. We gotta definitely pin it. We, gotta, we can fix one of those things. We, we, we can get you some infinite tokens. Stat. Did you guys see what happened with fucking Ultra Pro and Wizards today? Yeah. No. Um, oh, it's they. The yeah, they uh, they stole infinite tokens' idea and started producing. Oh. Oh. Yeah. Well, they. No. Well, okay. There are, there was um, another brand started doing that a while ago too, actually. Yeah, it was Ultimate uh, was it Guard. Oh, Ultimate Guard. There yeah. you go. Yeah. Uh, um, which uh, it's less about it being a proprietary idea right, and, which it, to me, it and more about the fact that Wizards knows who Megan is. Right. Yeah. yeah. We know they know who Megan is. Right. We know they know how beloved she is. Right. And how beloved Infinite Tokens are, and they still were like, yeah, but fuck the small business. We'll go with somebody mm -hmm. else like right yeah no that that i mean hey listen that sucks but they will not be used by anyone in the content creator community so that is yeah Fact. the very least you can do yeah mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. and uh that's me good because every time i've gone to buy them they have been out of stock so i don't even have infinite tokens myself what i have are the um oh all right all right we leaving okay bye um <laughs> i'm out of here here, I'm I gonna have go the blanks okay. from okay. the world's yep. reproduction decks. Oh, that's really good. Oh. That I use, but they're they're an actual like I don't feel bad about these because they're an actual like magic card, yeah, like yeah, an yeah, existing yeah, magic yeah. product. And I just draw on the sleeves instead because they're not whiteboard cards. But like, right, right. I talked to Megan at Chicago, and I was like, I promise, I love you. I just can't seem <laughs> to get them in time. <laughs> no, she knows. She knows. Um, all right, I am going to play uh, Galadriel, Light of Valinor. Love her uh, so much. Oh, that's right, that's cool as hell. So Galadriel, Light of Valinor is a uh, five and a three, three legendary creature, uh, elf noble. She has alliance. Whenever another creature enters the battlefield under my control, Choose one that hasn't been chosen this turn. I either get three green, a plus one plus encounter in each creature I control, or I scry two, then draw a card. And boy, how, boy, freaking howdy, are we gonna be doing those things? Um, I did Path of Ancestry. Obviously, she's an elf, um, so I'm going to scry. I'm gonna keep that there, and uh, because I scryed, I'm gonna put a plus one plus encounter on Aragorn, who will then put a plus one plus encounter on his lady wife. Um, then I will I need another creature to come to play, huh? Creature A. Let's do. I'm going to cast Boromir, Warden of the Tower. Mm. Uh, oh, and also that's a legendary. Uh, Galadriel's a legendary creature. Um, Frodo's going to keep on being the Ring Bearer. And I'm going to get a. I already have one of, uh, one of each of these counters. So I'm going to say Aragorn's going to get another. I don't know. Uh, Vigilance counter. Uh, and put it on Frodo. Or put the couple on Frodo. Vigilance. Um. Then now I will, oh, and another creature was a ring bearer. I'm gonna scry three. Uh, I'm gonna put these to the top. Top card is a land. That goes into here. Um, because I scry, that's gonna be another count on Aragorn. He'll put that counter on his wife. Uh, the land I got was Temple of Plenty. That's gonna be another scry. I'll just do this again. Um, cool, cool, cool. Whenever I scry, reveal the top card. It's a land, the Grey Havens. That's going to come into play. Tapped. When the Grey Havens enters the battlefield, that's another scry one. Um, Bro's <laughs> cooking, guys. <laughs> <I love it. laughs> We're cooking. 
Uh, I'll put a counter on uh, this Galadriel. Uh, scry land. Whenever I scry and reveal it, I won't reveal the top because I know what it is. Um, I will then finally play Boromir, Warden of the Tower. Um, three mana, three three with vigilance. Whenever I cast, whenever an opponent casts a spell, if no mana was spent to cast that spell, counter that spell. So, if anyone wants to path again. Uh, or a uh, uh, force again just be aware that it will not work um then i can sacrifice him to give my creatures indestructible and then the ring tempts me legendary mm -hmm. creature enters um frodo again i'll get i don't know uh a death oh i'm so silly i'm so silly foolish um i'll get a vigilance counter on denry um, these two are going to come and play with first strike and death touch. Um, ring tempt, scry three. None of those are land, so I won't even do anything else. That's a, that's a scrying. And, uh, instead of here, I'll put it here. Um, Another creature into the battlefield. I'm going to scry to, then draw a card. I'll draw this card. That's a scrying. Here, here. Um, okay, that's all normal. All of that was perfectly fine. We're fine, everyone. It's okay. everything's fine. Everything it's is fun. totally fine. Um, I'm gonna play a land per turn, which is a scry land. Um, <laughs> Uh, that's just gonna be a counter here and here. I will go to combat. Um, I'm going to swing. I have vigilance with first strike and death touch, so I'm just gonna swing through. Just don't care. Um. I'll send a 5-5 five, five, uh, Flying, Vigilance, Trample, Lifelink, First Strike, Death Touch. I'll send a 5-5 five, five, um, over at Gabe. I will send a 4-4 four, four over at... Uh, I'll take 5. Uh, yeah. Last... Um, Frodo is a 5-5 five, five that has to be blocked. I'm going to send them over towards you, Danny. Um, and then Aragorn and Arwen. I will send both of them at the cats. Um, but they don't have trample. They can be simply blocked. But you will lose creatures, and that is what I want. With the, with the tokens? Yeah, whatever you want to go. Whatever you want to do. There's no trample yet. Right. yet. Um, so, for Frodo, uh, at what yeah. tier of the ring is he at? Um, he is at the final tier of the ring. I have been on it. Gotcha. Um, so, so he can't play and, like, creatures with greater power, correct? Uh, yeah, he does have Skulk, um, but he's a he has five power, and he has to be blocked if able. Okay. Um, then I'll block with my Alms Collector. Okay. Sounds good. Cool. I'm gonna draw um, all my creatures have Wither, so um, you will get three minus one minus one counters. Uh, first strike, so I won't. Oh, you're yeah. cooking. First strike and death touch. Uh, uh, and then that's it. That's all. It was just a just a big old just a big old it's just, it's a big old combat. Yeah. Yeah. I will block one with the the elephantes? elephant oh. and one with the puppy. The elephant was so cool. Bye puppy. Bye elephant. That's puppy. All right. Uh, and then that is the end of my turn. I will not. Uh, make you suffer any further. Alright, then. I will untap, and I will draw. You each will lose one life. Ooh. I'm gonna play an island. Yeah. Well, I could get more red mana, maybe. Never mind. But I'm gonna tap four. Uh, I'm gonna play a Tefiri's Ageless Insight. Nice. On cast. Yeah. I'll put six cards down. Draw six cards. We each take Two, six. Three, four, five, 
six. Yes, you each take six. Mm -hmm. Tefiri's Aegis Insight is out. Um. Oh god. Oh no. I shouldn't have killed my alms collector. <laughs> you probably should have. No. Uh, Girl, I'm why? going to tap an island. An I'm gonna play consider. Uh, I may look at um, on cast. One, two, three, four, five. I'm gonna put five down. I'm gonna draw ten cards. You each will take ten. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Uh, consider. Uh, look at the top card of your library. I may put it to the graveyard. Uh, I'll put a Triska Deca file in my graveyard, but I will draw two cards, so you guys will take two more. I'm down. Oh, wait. Oh, Kuro's at two. I do have lifelink. I'm sorry. I You're right. Do need... It's just those two, though. Um... Yeah, go back and get that life. Yeah. 19. Okay, I am... Sorry if that changes literally anything. That is... so good. No, no, it doesn't. I mean, yeah, it does, but, like, I just have to be smart enough with what I'm going to play. Yeah, um, I'm going to play an island as my land for turn, because I think that's the best usage of it right now. And I'm going to tap it, and I'm going to play an opt. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. I'm going to put ten cards on the bottom of my library and draw twenty cards. <laughs> One, I'm two, out. three, four, five, six, seven, eight. 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. Um, op will trigger. I can scry one and draw two. Uh, I'll put Baral on the bottom of my deck. And I'll draw two cards. Um, Trudeau, you're at four. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. I'm going to... Is there anything that can yeah. <laughs> yeah, I'm gonna yeah. tap <laughs> I'm gonna tap a mountain for my soul ring. Uh-huh. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, yep. nineteen, twenty, twenty-one. I'm gonna put twenty-one, draw forty-two. Yep. Can you nice. stop this? Uh I cannot. Um I don't believe I have any way of doing such a thing. So yeah. Hard yeah. draw for the win. 